Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So, more from the veil. This is the last one I've got, and this was my favorite from last the trip. IPA. Last IP. Well, that's from the answer. Oh, my yeah. bad. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. all right. I'm sorry. Go ahead Kinda and give me a preview. That's fine. Yeah. I can't do it as a blind. Now. <laughs> um, so, this is Stepdad Chaperone, 8.5% all mosaic, and mosaic is one of my favorite hops, and I really dig this beer. So, uh, I've already had a couple cans, so I remember what it tastes like, but I'll describe it just like it's fresh because it's just awesome. <laughs> just, all right, a little darker, yeah, man. That's like a little uh, orange, it's orange peach golden. color, golden. Yeah. yeah, you can see that there. It's really opaque. Too. The head's just gone. Well, actually, it's not as opaque as. I thought. Yeah, it's pretty that, yeah. opaque. Looks pretty right. good. Let's, Let's get the just nose. get the nose. Oh, that's mosaic. That's mosaic. So I get big tropical fruit, um, the sweet tropical fruit, but it's not as distinct and robust as citra. But it's kind of a mellow tropical fruit, okay. which is what I like. But it's a big nose, though. Yeah, it is. I don't feel like it's tapered off at all. This is. I guess two, oh, mm. not quite two weeks old yet. It'll be two weeks this next Tuesday. See, with mosaic, I also get um, not just sweet tropical fruits, but I get a dankness to it. I get kind of a mix. I kind of feel like I get that later, okay. um, but the sweetness, the sweet tropical fruit aromas first, and then I maybe get a little dank aroma on, on kind of the back end. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's all there for me. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. See, to me, that's that's Ooh. a mix of tropical fruit and, and resinous. Absolutely. Um, but not herbal. Um, I don't get any herbal notes at all from that. Fair and enough. I think that's why I like Mosaic a little bit better than Simcoe. Yeah, it's... But... So, for example, we just... Um, we just did the uh, Simcoe. This has a lot more bitterness to me. It is more bitter. I mean, it's uh, definitely got a huge bite um, compared to that. I'm not saying it's the most bitter beer I've ever had. I'm just saying compared to the creamy, sweet, smooth juices, mm -hmm. this one's a little aggressive compared to that. Well, I would assume that's what they're going for. I mean, they didn't give the IBUs, so I mm -hmm. really have no idea, but uh, clearly it's more malty. I mean, if you want to compare it, can see the difference in color. This is yeah. clearly more malt than this one. And this, I'm, I guess, this is everybody, this is everybody wants everybody some, wants some uh, Simcoe, Simcoe from Hooparted that we were going to, we'll talk about towards the end. Um, um, just talking about different single hop beers. But this one, like you said, this one does have a little bit of a uh, bite to, that t to your tongue there. Yeah, it's a little Perhaps. more bitter. I would probably guess in the 80s mm. if I were betting. Um, I like it though. And it, and I get that, I do get that blueberry. I mean, that's that Dude, kind of I still sweet. don't get that. It's killing me because I love blueberries. Well, I, when we were doing our last set of reviews at Nathan's house, I, he had some blueberries sitting down. I threw I in. And, and, and I, I, I can get that now. Um, mm. well, I'm jealous. I still don't, I can't discern that as blueberries. My palate's not that refined, I guess. Mm. But I know I like it. My palate says I like it a lot. Yeah. It's really good. So I give this a four or five. Um, I like it better than everybody wants some Simcoe, but I'm just the opposite. I, I'm giving it a four two five. Solid. I love it. I'm glad I got it. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the cans you get, gave me and be happy about it. Well, if you but, only give it a four two five, I want my cans back. Four two five is a good beer. <laughs> this is really good. I, I'm I'm very pleased that I got it. Um, mm. I would yeah. love to have a double dry hop version of that. That would be just phenomenal. <laughs> um, but that would probably lean more toward the grassiness. Step, step, dad, dad, chaperone, chaperone. <laughs> We're just joking because they did master, master, shredder, shredder, so. <laughs> I don't know what they'd call it, but All right. that's too much of a. So let me, let me yeah, do this. I'm going to bring in the Simcoe to, to see now that I have them side by side. So the Simcoe here is the lighter colored, um, kind of pale straw in there. And, and this is the uh, said that chaperone with um, mosaic. So, excuse me. Similar uh, ABVs, eight percent for the Simcoe, eight and a half for the chaperone. I get a little more sweet aroma out of this. Yep. And more aggressive. I mean, this is just—I would use the word aggressive. It's just—it's a little bit more bitter aroma. 
I get, wow, it's, I almost get a little hint of wine smell, like white grape out of this one okay. now. It's really weird. I didn't get that before. I can see that. And you know, now that I've had this, this definitely doesn't taste um, as big. I think this kind of beats it out. Like this. Yeah. I see what you're saying. The bitterness, I guess, is kind of uh, wrecking my palate for this. Yeah. Yeah, this one, it, it almost doesn't have nearly as much flavor. I would say if we would have reversed trying these, I would not have been able to give this as high as a rating. It was a good thing that we didn't know the IBUs. It was a good thing we did it in this order because this just doesn't have as big of a flavor next to this. Yeah, well, we typically do them in that order because of alcohol, but the alcohol content, a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, it, it correlates with the malt content and other stuff too, but yeah, for them to be very similar and I mean, 8% and 8.5, this is a much bigger but beer I and that's mean, why I like that. Yeah, I mean, it is, I, I see your point. This this one keeps standing up. This one is losing its flavor. It's not, my palate has been taken over by this. Um, but still by itself. No, yeah, it's still good. Still and and I still, again. like, I prefer those flavors. But now that I've been drinking this, it's like, I can't, I can't appreciate the flavors as much. Uh, it's just very interesting. Uh, much more aggressive, uh, bitter beer. Still good. I mean, I'm even, it's making me think about up in this. Well, go with your gut. Man. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, don't, don't change it just based on a comparison because um, that's kind of unfair because they're two distinctly different beers. Yeah, and I've had them independently and I, I, I prefer the, this one. And if, mm. you know, if I had to, put my money down on one or the other, that's what I would buy more of. But hopefully, I, uh, One that's I could closer buy, too, you can, but you can could, go there. Could buy both of them. Yeah. Virginia is, you know, Richmond, Virginia is a little bit farther. Yeah. But wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna stick with four, four, two, five, you get a four, five. I, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's a great beer. Go to the Vale, get go whatever the they vale. have, you will not be disappointed. I, Gosh, they're blowing up right now. They are just killing it, and yeah. they're so new. Yeah. I mean, very new. Um, yeah. Are they even a year old yet? I don't think <laughs> I don't they're know. a year old. I, I, when I was in line, the person that was behind me in line to talk about how they just opened um, within the last year, I, I don't know when they opened, but if he's right, then, and I probably should look that up before I brought it up, but I mean, for someone that is just so fresh, they are making killer beers. They're doing, um, everything we've had has been fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think we've rated anything lower than a 425. When you were there, did you stop and have samples or anything? Because they have, a, I mean, you can get samples I was there. Hurry. Yeah, I was too, to get to the answer. <laughs> No, I was just left the answer. I had okay. to get to the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> my wife and kids were in the car, and I had to go. Well, my kids were watching a movie. Um, well, I so wish I would have that kind of I was time. going. I was well, going to I the answer. To drive, but, oh, yeah. Well, oh. you went to the answer first. I just went to yeah. the answer second. <laughs> yeah. um, but it, both places are well worth it if you're in the Virginia, the Richmond, Virginia area. Yeah, and then you also got Hardywood there. Hardywood yeah, Park. Hardywood's right around the corner. And, I didn't go uh, there, but was it Stone? Did Stone open it? No, which one was um, it? First? Stone opened somewhere in the east. I, I don't know I how think close it, was, it is. I think it's them. And there's one more, and I've, I'm sorry, I forget, but there's another um, craft brewery, brewery that people are highly recommending as well on top of that. so Yeah, it's something Creek, um, Licking Creek, I can't remember, but yeah. uh, got some so, sours from there we'll try, and some stouts we'll try cool. later. Yeah, good place, but uh, thanks again for getting it. All right, no anything, problem. Anything else? Mm -mm. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.